It was always, I can't, you shouldn't, don't do this. You know, it's impossible. It's too challenging, it's too difficult. They're saying that I can't before I even attempt to try. That's, that's, that's not the way to live. I was up doing a wheelie on the freeway. I went to try to get away from the police officer. A uh, car merged into my lane and I hit the center divider. This decision to do that actually cost me the ability to ever walk again. When I got out of the hospital after my injury, I realized everybody that was in a wheelchair was either wearing these elastic waistband pants or getting by wearing sweatpants. And that's when I realized, hey, these guys need help. We're in our Los Angeles, California factory where we manufacture and make my ability jeans. Normal jeans don't fit us. We can't access back pockets and buttons and rivets can cause pressure sores for people in wheelchairs. So we don't have no rear pockets, smooth surface in the back. We take all things into consideration, you know, the durability of them, our belt uh, loops being stronger. So when you pull your pants up by the belt loop, they don't break but in a way that they don't stand out. They look as great as every other jean that's on the market. They told me I would never walk again. I was like, well, I will be able to ride motorcycles, right? And they said my life doing that was over. And that was the reason why I said it wasn't, and I'm gonna build something that I am gonna be able to ride again. We ride for that freedom, you know? I look at the road, I look at what's around me, I feel the throttle, and I ride. I don't look over and say, oh, there's my wheelchair, I gotta get back to that when I'm, no. For the moment, I'm riding and it's freedom. There ain't nothing that can compare to that.